So, are there any final questions from the community, Mr. Smith, right. Dr. Rao? Um, I'm gratified to hear, uh, and I'm sorry, I didn't get your name before. Doug. Doug, I'm sorry. Uh, Doug, yeah, I'm gratified to hear the Navy's looking at all kinds of grim uh, alternatives to this, where the, that you guys have looked at barge. I've, I'm happy to hear you've looked at rail more. I think rail is a, is a, is a really good underutilized option for removing some of this waste out of here. It certainly moves more stuff than trucks move and that kind of thing. I'm, I'm a rail advocate, so I'll just put that out there. But one of my questions was to Steve. Steve, you mentioned the thing about smell, and I know uh, several people here talked about living with smell four years. I mean, we've got Darling out there. Years. 60 years, Ms. Jackson. <laughs> I, I was going to give you a little more credit than that. Um, you talked about smell, but I'm curious about another thing. Now, we're talking about the smells we're talking about here. They're not darling smells. They're not sewer plant smells. You're talking about all kinds of chemical, strontium. I mean, I don't know what's in there. But it's not the smell that concerns me. I still want to see it all go. I mean, I'm just going to say that right out right now. Um, it's not the smell that concerns me. Has the Navy, I mean, are, are, is the Navy concerned about during an excavation process like this, not so much the smell, but what's in the air? What comes out of this? I mean, have, has any consideration, is that part of the thinking of capping and covering this, of, of trying to be safe with this thing? I mean, I mean, uh, to me, that's a big thing. I mean, the smell thing is big. But, and I certainly, I mean, four years, eight years, four days, uh, you know, I mean, wow. Hey, um, I mean, is that a concern of the Navy? Is that part of the thinking in this? I mean, and if, if, if it is, <laughs> I'd love for folks to try to, I mean, maybe this isn't the time for it, maybe it's other things, but I, I, I'd like, if you could, and if you know, if you could share what some of the other risks involved in unearthing this kind of things, what that does to the environment, what you know of what's in there. I mean, I, I know this might be delicate and tricky, but that's a sort of a frightening thing to me. You know what I mean? Okay. Bring in a municipal no. landfill. Your municipal garbage municipal goes solid through. waste, yes. Municipal right. solid waste. Mm -hmm. and, and that type of waste did go in this landfill. There's also a lot of office waste, waste from like where, where like in the community, I mean, where you'd have shops, it, it, particularly if you think back like 20, 30 years ago, when you'd have uh, a lot of auto shops and, and uh, places that would use solvents, uh, metal cutting places. Some of that waste would in there, but the bulk of it is more like garbage and office waste. And well, the, the, there's records as far as showing roughly what different types of waste involved. And then the cores that have come out of there, there match pretty much that. You, you can see some breakdown of it. Anyway, just going into a municipal landfill when you start excavating it. There are horrendous odors, but I mean, if, if you had a rendering plant here, you know, 50, 40, 50 years ago, you know the kind of smells that can be. If the wind's blowing in the right direction, it's going to match that. In the We've had ones here since 1966. Yeah, yeah. And, and before the regulations went in place to control the odors, you know how bad it, it got sometimes around the rendering plants. It, it can be like that if the wind blows in that direction. But also, um, the initial opening up, there is methane. There can be hydrogen sulfide pockets that come out. That's not any, actually a risk to the community, it's a risk to the workers mm -hmm. that are there. Because if, if suddenly a pocket in a confined space with hydrogen sulfide comes out, that, that can kill the individual. Right, right, and I know that that's got to be a consideration in this. Yeah, but, and there would be precautions taken for all that. I mean, some of this is going to require if it comes to excavating all this out, there will have to be some poking in advance to get a better idea of what kind of gases may be there. Um, runoff controls. Groundwater that's in there, it's in contact with waste, it's leachate. And that's how it's gonna be classified, that's how it's gonna be considered. It's gotta be handled, it has to be fully contained, it has to be controlled. It's gonna have to be filtered, treated. It may take a, a, a very large wastewater treatment plant being built 
like on the adjacent area of parcel E to handle the amount of water that comes out. Any rainfall that goes in there likewise. I mean, so the for dewatering and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah the dewater, yeah. particularly as, as uh, Doug pointed out, goes down 13 feet below, plus you're gonna be excavating <coughs> about another three to four feet of the soil beneath it because of impacts from the landfill. So I was thinking that be watered to get down to it. So it is a very big engineering operation. There are a lot of risks. Um, managing the waste as it goes off, making sure that there's no odors, making sure there's no leachate. Probably have to dry the waste before it gets hauled off. That'd be a better way to do it. So I mean, there's a lot of planning. It can be done safely. It's it, it does increase the cost if we find that there are pockets of areas that need more. If we, for instance, if we find that there's an area that has a very high concentration of solvents, chlorocarbons, um, that area would have to be even more isolated off and, and handled separately. It'd have to be some advanced characterization, all the ways would go to a, a staging area for final characterization before it goes off. Yes, there's a lot of risks. They would be addressed and they would be handled. The Navy's worked very hard to handle everything today. And, and, and my personal opinion is that they've done an outstanding job. And I hope the regulators likewise feel that. They, the regulators likewise will be watching over what happens. I mean, the, the community, the risk would be handled. The community. The, the risk that are created by that, that have to be addressed, have to be engineered, have to be solved. You know, it's like, you stack them all up, you have a pile this big, where some of these other alternatives, it's only a pile this big. I mean, those are the type of considerations that go into account in weighting. <coughs> I mean, so, simply because something has a higher rating doesn't mean it's not, it, it can't be selected. Right. It just means it's a more difficult to sell to the regulators, up the line, to the representatives in Congress that have to provide money to everybody involved. I mean, it's not, nothing happens simply because somebody wants it or desires it. It, it takes a lot of steps to get it there, no matter which, whether it's the one that ranked the best, or the one that's worst, or one in the middle. 